Oh, I'm so upset now. I have so many boards. 5 volts, 12 volts, and 15 volts. Each board has its own power supply. This is so inconvenient. Is there any solution to solve this problem? Yeah, actually there is. So I'm going to show you this tiny solution here. This is the this is the easy PD. Okay, so this right here is a custom solution for when you need to have multiple power display or multiple power output options when you're using multiple boards. In my case, I have three evaluation boards, each one having its own unique power supply. So I have a 15 volt and a 12 volt power supply. But this is obviously too inconvenient. And in most cases, you're in a situation whereby you would prefer to just have one charger for everything that you do. And that's where this little guy comes in, uh, as you can see here. So this here, this is the Easy PD. It's a USB PD device that we use uh, to make custom voltages at the endpoint of a USB connection. Now, the working principle is behind USB PD, which is the new standard for power devices, which USB uses to perform a sort of handshake to dictate how much power, how much wattage a single point can go through. And with this device, we can regulate the voltage. So for example, let's say you want to charge your phone or you want to charge your laptop. The basic principle is that you can use the same charger, but when you connect, your phone is going to request a different voltage than your laptop. And we're going to exploit this uh, phenomenon of USB in order to change exactly uh, to choose the custom voltage for all three of my evaluation boards. That way I can replace uh, all three of these chargers with only one of this. In order to do that, you would need a high power USB device like the one I'm going to use right now, this one. So this is my, car, my gun charger. It can uh, go up to 65 watts uh, at uh, 50 volts and uh, 3.25 milliampere. So we're going to be using this charger in order to show a configuration whereby you can charge up to three, uh, up to five uh, voltage ranges. In our case, it's five volts, nine volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, and 20 volts. So how does this uh, easy PD sync work? Well, the basic, the basic uh, functioning is that uh, it uses two components in particular. The CH224, which is a, which is a fast charging, uh, which is a chip we use here for USB PD implementation. It supports things like uh, fast charging, USB PD 3.0, 2.0, BC 1.2, uh, and also it's built in, it, it has a built-in communication module. This allows it to interact and make the handshake needed to request different voltages from the main supply or from the main USB input. And then the second chip in this, uh, in this board is the CH3V003. It's a tiny MCU, about uh, 20 pins, and we mostly use it uh, in low power and uh, portable devices. Now, uh, what I'm going to show you is a, is a basic setup of how this device works. So as you can see to my left hand, there's a small trigger. There's a small trigger. Uh, there's a small switch. And we're going to use this switch to manipulate and dictate uh, which power we're going to request. So I'm going to connect uh, my board to my voltmeter to my digital multimeter. Okay. Okay, now that we have connected uh, to our voltmeter, what we can in turn do is we can manipulate the final output voltage by pressing down and then it uh, enters into a switching mode and we can switch up to 20 voltage uh, at the highest level. Uh, and for those of you who are asking, the, the current changes depending on the load. So the higher the load, the higher the current, 
and uh, the higher the output wattage. Okay, so as you can see from here, we have uh, five voltage options. And uh, when depending on which one we want, we can press down and then switch. So in this case, I'm switching to 20 volts. And as you can see from the multimeter reading, it's now 20 volts. This is all possible by the use of the CH224, which is a USB PD device, and the CHV003, a 32-bit small portable microcontroller. And as you can see, it's the same mechanism. You pin down, uh, you select voltage, and then you pin down to select again. And uh, as you can see, the voltage changes to match what's happening and the current in this case changes with the load so as long as your power supply can match with, uh, up to 20 volts then you can easily have all five ranges and in case you're wondering about the current the current changes depending on the load so if the load requires more current then the easy pd sync will will match that current uh, and then lastly if the charger cannot provide the maximum current it always uh, azpd always defaults to 5 volts like in this case if it went to not match then it would uh, default back to 5 volts so i hope you see how this mechanism works and uh, i hope you can understand it so as we are looking at this schematic, I'm going to explain to you how we set up this device and uh, how it works. So the first thing is uh, we have the CH224 PD and uh, we're going to use its config uh, pins, which is config one, two, and three. So with these three pins, we're going to set up a, a three bit register, and uh, which means we can have up to eight uh, instruction sets for changing the mode so for example five volts can be zero zero nine volts zero zero one all the way up to 20 volts and then uh, we're going to go over to our mcu which is the ch32 v003 and as you can see we have dedicated uh, pc01 and 2 as our config so using gpio to push uh, we're using gpio to give high and low values we can change the configuration of our uh, pd of our ch224 pd and then uh, lastly uh, we are also going to look at our v bus out monitor and control as you can see here, our v bus uh, is from the adc and then uh, when we get the input signal, this is a voltage divider in cases where we need to match because the maximum is uh, 20 volts. And then lastly, uh, the minor details. Uh, this uh, is our switch and indicator LED. So our switch uh, has three outputs. So it can either, in this case, it can either trigger the left the right or the main button in this case uh, going uh, button down so basically this is how the flow works so the main function the main uh, the most critical part is using the ch32 v003 to drive up or down the config pins uh, the config gpio ports which in turn uh, control the ch224 kpd sync and determine which output or inputs we are going to get.